we tried to get out, but we could not get out. So we had to ride it out. A uh, family vacation in the Caribbean left eight people stranded when Hurricane Irma swept through. Now, originally, they were from Placerville. Now, this family is scattered all across the West Coast. They were excited to meet in the Caribbean island of Turks and Caicos. But now they're trying to figure out a way to get back home. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins continues our team coverage tonight in the newsroom with more on how they made it through this storm. Macy. Adrian and Sam, seven adults and a baby survived the storm and talked with me. Now, Peggy Wood says the details for her are personal. She didn't want to show much of what happened to them, but the family wants everyone to know they made it. I thought, holy cow, what's going to happen there? 3,000 miles from the eye of the storm, Nancy Woods had one thing on her mind. I was texting Peggy and I wasn't getting a response. Her younger sister Peggy Wood and seven other family members on a family vacation in Turks and Caicos. Worried, Nancy got on the phone and called the U.S. consulate in the Bahamas. I don't necessarily know that they're going to be able to help them get out, but at least they know they're there. And with cell service flickering in and out, I was surprised when Peggy answered our call. Hi, Peggy. This is Macy Jenkins with CBS 13 News in Sacramento. I'm so glad that we're able to speak with you right now. Irma was not going to be coming in uh, two days before we left. But once it changed course, the family of eight had no choice but to hunker down and ride it out. 185 mile an hour wind was like ridiculous and thought, oh my gosh, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. A flight out through Florida, impossible. The airport shut down. It's looking better, but it was a war zone. Absolute war zone. Her sister is relieved the family is okay, but says she'll feel better once they finally make it back home. Now just not knowing when they're going to get back, that's difficult. Right now, the family has a flight scheduled out for Thursday, but that is entirely dependent on airports in Florida reopening for the family to make their connections. Quite an ordeal, Macy. Thank you very much for the update there. CBS 13.